Um, so that leads me to introduce our last speaker, um, Raya Abu Ghalal, Dutch Iraqi, um, but coming from the UAE. Um, Raya is a corporate lawyer and founder of a boutique illegal consultancy. She's also a co-founder of the Women Lawyers Group Middle East and a board member um, of the International Women Business Group in Abu Dhabi. Um, Raya will focus on women in the workforce, um, women in business and um, labor rights, mostly, of course, in the UAE. So it's great to have you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the organizers. For Thank you. I feel very outnumbered here without having a PhD. <laughs> Uh, but thank you very much for having me here to speak and uh, of course I'm in my home country so it's always exciting to give a talk. Uh, so uh, already Dr. Femke touched some of the aspect of the historical issues for the UAE uh, and I'm going to talk more about the exciting things that are happening now in the GCC but in particular the UAE which continues to make progress in terms of increasing female participation in the workforce, businesses, as also changes in the labor laws. I just want to make a point that the UAE existed only since the 1971. So we do have to uh, take that into consideration so that the laws are, keep changing in terms of also women in force, but also it's, it is very new for women to, uh, to be working there. Historically, in the MENA region, most laws guarantee equality between men and women. In the UAE, that's also the case. Women since the establishment of the UAE in 1971 were provided as per the UAE constitutional, uh, constitution equal rights to men. Women are equally treated by law uh, under the labor law which was issued in 1980. And it's been amended on, uh, in various years, but uh, they've been um, granted equality in terms of equal pay and also recent uh, introduction of uh, child care and other policies that um, helps women uh, to participate in the economy. Uh, women and men are equally treated uh, under UAE law by owning and operating business, so there are no restrictions for a woman or men owning business. They have the same rights. Uh, they have, uh, there are no restrictions for women to get a consent from a husband owning a business. In fact, we have seen increasing support of women businesses initiatives in the past years in the UAE, including narrowing the gender gap and cabinet resolution uh, that's been recently issued. Well, it hasn't been, it was in 2015, where at least one woman should be on a board level uh, in companies and governments. Over the past decade, the UAE has made significant strides in empowering women and ensuring they play an increasingly important role in the workplace, uh, uh, organizations, and politics. I'm not talking about politics, but I just want to give an example that we have, I think, 11 or 12 female ministers now, uh, and they, uh, that's quite uh, big for, uh, for a small country. And a great example of, the, uh, of another initiative that uh, recently was issued uh, by the government it's called the UAE Gender Balance Council. It's it was established uh, uh, in, in the UAE and which aims to help place uh, women ar around, uh, uh, sorry, at the top 25 uh, countries for gender equality by 2021. Uh, These organizations, uh, such organizations, they existed uh, a while back, but this one specifically focuses on the gender equality and narrowing the gender gap. Uh, also, uh, large companies, uh, it, it was first actually the international companies that have uh, made uh, flexible uh, and better policies for women in terms of the maternity leave, in terms of also introducing flexible hours to have women participating more in the workforce. But also we have seen now increase of local uh, companies following the international companies based in Dubai or Abu Dhabi and uh, increasing even though, for example, the labor law gives only 40 days uh, maternity leave, you have the government that has given recently 90 days uh, maternity leave. But you also have some companies that do not uh, follow the law and they follow then their own policies where they give better uh, terms relating to maternity leave. Uh, the, uh, the reason why I'm mentioning maternity leave, because uh, family is a big matter in the UAE or, or in the Arab world in general. So, uh, so this has always been a debate that we need to increase the maternity leave uh, 
uh, especially when the law when the law was issued in 1980, uh, there were not many women working um, in the UAE. So also, uh, UAE has ver established various networks to support women, uh, to offer mentorship, finance, uh, and uh, also general advice for setting up their businesses. You've got a uh, uh, few uh, in Abu Dhabi, and you've got also a few in, in Dubai and Sharjah, uh, the different Emirates uh, throughout the UAE. There is the uh, famous Abu Dhabi Women Council, there's the Dubai one, and there's also the International Women Business Group, which I'm uh, a board member of. So uh, we, um, and there are a few others that are set up under the umbrella of the Chamber of Commerce. So these type of organizations, they've been quite, uh, they played an important role to support women e uh, empowerment, uh, specifically in, in setting up their businesses and, and also bringing a speaker to help them uh, in, in their businesses, but also in terms of their jobs and, and also in terms of expats coming to work in the UAE. So uh, it's, it's not only set up to support locals, but also the bigger community throughout the UAE. Also, uh, the government, well, I've, I've mentioned the changes. They've uh, stressed out, uh, emphasized more on the uh, equal payment. So we have uh, recently uh, issued, uh, a, in 2008, a cabinet resolution about equal payment because Yes, by law, equal payment is guaranteed, uh, but ha unfortunately, uh, it hasn't been implemented in, throughout all the organization. And sadly to say, it's actually the international companies that haven't implemented equal pay because most of their parent companies abroad are, are not uh, uh, carrying out the same uh, policy. Um, so despite the above, changes, they're very exciting changes, uh, they're rapid changes. Uh, I mean, I've been living in the UAE now for 12 years and I have seen tremendous change. I have set up companies for women from different uh, backgrounds. I've also set up companies for, uh, for women from the GCC. We have seen that women are celebrating, they're doing campaigns. I mean, this is a picture in the background saying we can do it. Uh, there's also been uh, initiative to support these um, this is actually in Kuwait, by the way. You know, this, this was, but it's a GCC, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a GCC initiative. Uh, so we can see here different uh, type of movement from the GCC. Most of them are entrepreneurs, and there are some artists, and you may recognize some faces. Um, uh, so um, these type of campaign has have been support, uh, supported, but also by the by the governments and uh, the society. Now, I know there are a lot of questions from the other part of the world where they feel things are be being done differently in the Middle East. And I know the media has not always done a good job uh, in, in terms of uh, projecting uh, the women from the Middle East. Uh, but there are positive changes, specifically the UAE. Um, and, and throughout the GCC, actually, I mean, we'll, we'll see the same initiative because of their visions, and now with Saudi coming up with their vision. Um, but we still face a lot of challenges. I mean, there's still culture barriers, there's positive discrimination. There's also lack of education for women. So many women still don't know they can, how easy it is to actually set up a business or go into the profession, uh, professional world. Oh, even about their basic rights. So there is still, uh, there needs to be uh, more emphasis on educating women about their rights, but also, uh, also educating women in entering the, the entrepreneurship world. And also, uh, I've mentioned about the unequal pay. Uh, that's that's uh, becoming a big issue in the UAE recently, and there's topics about it being discussed. But that's, that's, again, a global issue that many women are facing um, in other parts of the world. Uh, there's also um, uh, the culture and, and my, mindset of women uh, becoming successful is still an issue for certain families. Uh, so you have, uh, there's always this myth, if you are successful, there is a possibility that you will not find a suitable husband who will not. <laughs> 
marriage is still a big issue, I mean, in, 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 in the Middle East. I mean, we cannot deny it. So family is very important. So they always have this. I mean, I had once, I gave a talk about women in law, and there were students, and they were fascinating. Actually, most of the students were female. And one of them, sorry, that's a, a bit off the topic. And one of them came to me and said to me, oh, how come you're doing all of this and you're married and you have kids? And she said, because my father said, it's okay to study law, but I shouldn't practice, uh, practice as a lawyer uh, because men will be afraid of marrying me. So, I, I mean, that you do have these concepts. They still exist. Uh, and... Um, uh, <laughs> So we need, we, we also, what, what we need in our region are more role models. So these are very, very important. That's why the international organizations based in the, in the UAE, but also the Abu Dhabi Women Council and, and the Dubai Women Council, they're doing a great job in that because they, they're actually show, showing the new generation, look, we can do it, we've done it, you know, there, there's been some challenges, but uh, but you can be here as well. So these are the role models. We need to increase the role models. And, and initiatives like this, that we can actually do it. These are very important because, I mean, you have this, and then you had a uh, few exhibitions in the UAE. You had one in Dubai Mall that celebrated uh, about 100 women uh, from the region uh, for International Women's Day. And this was fascinating because people were, were walking around and seeing all these you know, uh, posters of women celebrating their success, whether in business, whether in education, and other type of profession. Um, and, uh, and also what we have seen is sometimes, often now, that in the UAE, they're growing so rapidly that often they feel it's okay to stop now. We shouldn't continue, it's fine, we're okay in the moment. And that's something that is actually happening throughout the whole Middle East, in a way, that they feel, okay, I'm successful now, it's okay, I don't need to do anything more. So this is, um, this is another challenge that we are facing, actually, sometimes in, in our organization, when we speak to other women, we'll say, you know, you could do more, you could go further, you know, you could also help others. So these are very um, important uh, challenges, and I think we're gonna discuss these issues more in the Q&A.